Let's shift gears a little bit, looking at module eight and talk about some specific game day fueling strategies. What athletes need before their performance, after their performance and so on. Now, this is where it comes to real life. We could talk about the macronutrients and carbs and protein and supplements and all that, but at the end of the day, what matters is how people perform. And we know that macronutrients needs vary among athletes. You work with a lineman, they're gonna have different needs than a cross country runner, for example. So it depends on who you're working with and the type of sport they are in or performance. And then again, in addition to looking at overall quantities of food, it's essential to look at the quality of the nutrient as well. So some tips for healthy eating. And when I say healthy eating, this is also for performance. One, meet daily calorie needs, that's important. We talked about that earlier in, the, in one of the beginning modules. We know that most athletes fall short. I gave you some very, very simple formulas to help figure out calories. But again, those were very basic formulas and there's more specific ways to do it. But we do know most athletes aren't fueling their bodies properly. We need to make sure that the macronutrient intake is appropriate. Again, a lineman is going to have very different needs than a cross country runner or a triathlete, for example. Always have snacks on hand. You never know when you're going to be caught on a bus, you know, traveling for a long time. Or I remember again, working with a pro, the pro football team I worked with for years, there were some flight delays even on, on their plane. And there were some issues. They were stuck in there for a long time. They had to get off the plane, go right to the training field. That wasn't quite what was planned. Luckily there was fuel on the plane for them. Always uh, make sure you stay hydrated. This one is key. As I talked about in the hydration module, hydration, water is the most important nutrient more than any other carbohydrates, protein, fat, or anything along those lines. So we need to make sure that we are absolutely well hydrated at all times. Remember the tip I told you, if your urine color is like pale lemonade, that's good. If it looks like apple juice, that's bad. Make sure you're hydrated. Choose nutrient dense foods. It's not just about how much we eat, but it's also about the quality of those nutrients within the carbs, protein, and fat. Quality matters. There's a big difference between oats and soda. Both are carbohydrates. There's a big difference between nuts and butter. Both provide fat, right? And there's also a big difference between a lot of different foods. So look at the quality and the nutrient density. We want to provide the most nutrients within the calories we consume. A few other bullets here. Aim to eat something every three to four hours to keep energy levels consistent. It's not massive quantities, but just keeping those energies consistent is key. Before workouts, choose easily digestible carbohydrates. This is important because these are what's going to be utilized quickly by your body. You're not going to, on the way out the door for a run, you're not gonna sit down and have a giant bowl of oatmeal, for example. So you need to make sure you choose the right foods. We talked more about that with each, with each of the modules in the macronutrient section. Uh, after workouts, you want a combination of carbohydrates and protein. Again, we talked about this earlier with recovery fuel, but the carbohydrates provide glycogen. Glycogen provides fueling for future performance and then also protein to help rebuild and repair. It's okay to splurge occasionally on not so healthy foods from time to time. You know, I was sharing a story with someone recently about you know, talking about some of the foods that we eat occasionally at a, at a state fair, for example. It doesn't matter when it's once in a while. If these are your foods day in and day out, not the best choices. You know, when I was talking to a high school team earlier in the, in the week, we talked about after a workout, their coach was asking, where, where's a good place to take them? Again, should, we, should it be pizza? Should it be McDonald's or anything like that? You know, there's better choices than others, and I wouldn't encourage something like fast food all the time, or pizza all the time even but occasionally that is fine. Think about big picture, not one small snippet of your day, because that will make or break success. But when we look overall, how are we doing in our diet? Are we eating quality foods consistently most of the time? That's when we're truly going to have a positive influence on performance. And then remember that nutrition uh, directly affects performance. So many people forget this. What you put in your body is what you will get out of your body. Okay, if you put mud in the gas tank of your car, your car is not going to drive so well. If you put proverbial mud in your body or a lot of junk, soft drinks and candy and sweets and treats and everything, your body's not going to perform well. It's that simple. What you put in is what you will get out. There is an absolute direct connection between the two. 
So here are some very specific game day strategies. Again, eating a meal, I said every three to four hours, but ideally three to four hours before your activity. So that means if you have an early morning workout or training, you're getting up a few hours before that to put some fuel in your body. So you can, you can then in turn have a quality performance. Again, hydrate, I can't mention that one enough. And then refueling or rehydrating about 15 to 30 minutes before the game itself or before the training itself to kind of top the store, so to speak. Here are some examples. Again, you may look at this and think, he's recommending syrup, some syrup and pancakes and eggs? Absolutely. Let's talk realistic solutions. I look at this as carbohydrates and protein. This is great for someone who's busy, who's on the go, who, who can, again, fueling your body with some carbs and some protein and a little fruit there with the berries. Oats with some nuts and dried fruit, that can work as well. You can make it with milk for a boost in protein. You can add a protein supplement in there for another boost in protein as well. Any of those can work. A burrito with some, some veggies, some eggs in there. You could put some steak in there if you have it left over, or salmon or chicken, anything like that. It doesn't have to be a specific protein or, or game day meal or any magical supplement or anything like that. Real foods work really, really well. Here's peanut butter and banana sandwich. You get some whole grain bread, you get some quality fruit in there, you get some peanut butter for some healthy fat and protein. Again, let's look at realistic options. This is a great one for athletes. It's portable, most athletes love it, and it provides the carbohydrates and the protein and some of the vitamins and minerals that they need. Wash us down with some water or some milk for some extra protein and some extra fluids, even better. Some eggs and some toast. Again, this can work really well. Something like that, this is French toast there. That can work really well. Again, think, think nutrients, not specific foods. Again, we want them to have quality, but we wanna make sure we're fueling their body with the right foods as well. And then again, hydrate and refuel. This is, this, those were all kind of pre-game type ideas, or really post-game as well. But then looking at hydration. I mentioned this one previously in the hydration module, but can't hurt to say it again. Aim to drink about one cup of fluid eh, about 15 minutes before play. Sports drinks here are a good idea because they give you some of those carbohydrates to top your stores. Rehydrate every 15 to 30 minutes during play, and then halftime snacks. Depending on the particular sport, look at sports drinks, a fruit like orange or watermelon, grapes. Any, those have real high water content, so they, they also rehydrate while they provide some carbohydrates. Um, and something like a bar, depending on the particular sport. Now, when I did the Ironman several years ago, again, that's a higher level um, activity. I needed very high demands, but on my biking course, I had bars throughout. I had peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and banana. I had a lot of those type foods throughout. So if you're working with triathletes, those could be something that could be considered as well. So that being said, those are just a few small, easy strategies. We're looking at some game day fueling strategies pre, during, and post, but we wanna make these practical. We wanna make these realistic when we're talking to athletes to make sure that our recommendations have carryover to them and they use them to their best advantage. Thanks so much. See you at module nine.